I just got this little guy for the bathroom. It looks so much neater in here. Look at that, I love it. I found that at Target. Well, actually, uh, Leanne says, she mentioned this thing and I was like, oh, that's cute. And then I was just uh, being bored and weird and scrolling through organization stuff on Target's app and saw it and I was like, shit, that's only 15 bucks. So I picked it up the other day while I was in there and I just love the way everything Looks so neat and tidy in it. I'm really happy with that. Look how much space I have up here now. I got coffee. I just got out of the shower and everything, but I just think it looks so nice. If you remember, I had that like cake stand thing here that the skincare is sitting on, which is super cute, but it took up a lot of space. Things kept falling off of it, and it was just a lot. The only thing is like, it kind of like bows down in the middle. <laughs> so stuff doesn't want to sit flat, which is a little annoying, but whatever. It, the, the cake thing was getting my nerves because you slightly bumped it, everything fell off, and it just kind of kept happening. So yeah, we got my little plop in my hair right now. It's actually an old t-shirt, and I put my hair up in that while I'm waiting for it to dry. Shrimp eyes. My brow tint is gone, <laughs> so it doesn't look like I have any eyebrows either. But yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty tickled with that. It's the little things right now, man. I tell you, it really is just... Little things like that is all it takes to make me happy. Also, we finished getting all the carpet out of this room. This is the bedroom, by the way. I had carpet still underneath the bed and the nightstands where we kind of half ripped the carpet up. This is concrete. This, it's just got paint and stuff on it because it's just the concrete that's on the carpet. We were, we've been in a process of ripping it up. And anyway, we finally finished that the other day thanks to Pumpkin and her. Oh, this is Pumpkin's new little nook. Isn't that cute? Yeah. This little gal, she had some very lovely broccoli flavored diarrhea. Uh, she was having acid reflux and so they're like, oh, well put her on some broccoli and chicken for a couple days and take her off kibs. Well, it works for the acid reflux, that's her new toy. And that's my laundry that I need to fold. <laughs> yeah, uh, acid reflux is gone but it gave her hella diarrhea because I forgot to put rice in it. I think the rice is probably what she, you know, to absorb some of that extra broccoli fiber. But anyway, into the studio. I also tidied up in the studio. I have just kind of, uh, yeah, put Halloween stuff out. If I'm cleaning and doing all this stuff, that means my mental health is not 100% because I clean when I'm upset. Wait, where are you going? Oh, she's getting her toy. If I'm like cleaning house though, that means that I'm not up here suffering a little bit. Anyway, Pumpkin got two new toys also because I felt sorry for her because she was so sickly. The acid reflux was rough and then she had the itchies again and she's been a lot like worrying about that little dog so much. The diarrhea has gone. <laughs> we, she's back on her kibs and is 100% back to being Pumpkin. But I was really worried about her for a little bit there. Like, and it was over the weekend so and Labor Day so I couldn't like just bring her to the vet. I think it was so much stress of what's everything's been going on really got to her. You know, the being without power for a bit and then just having, <laughs> she's stretching me and silly on the carpet, having, you know, at least five people in the house, in and out, different people that she doesn't know very well for a week, two weeks. <laughs> that was a lot, probably, on her little brain, so she was constantly just stressed and hyped up. And So imagine, that probably takes a toll on her little body, because I know when I get stressed, I get acid reflux, too, so she's all better. <laughs> we just had a lot of broccoli infused to diarrhea around the house but she had done that on the carpet next to my husband's side of the bed and it was pretty pungent it was pretty broccoli-esque <laughs> as much as she loved her broccoli chicken combination that girl loved it it tore her little <laughs> tummy up she's being so silly she's on the floor just goofing i mean she is just having the best time with her new toys i could tell she really wasn't feeling good because she didn't even want to play and that's unusual for her, but also giving her Benadryl because she was having the itchies because we've been in and out of the house so much. Please don't play so close to the power strip. That, that makes me nervous. Let me just scooch that over here. I hate having that power strip. I have to run it across to get some stuff over here, but anyway. But uh, I don't usually let her like roam outside or anything. Like she's usually just on a leash and I don't let her go to the grass during the summer. And spring be in, or like, this time of year because I know she has allergies to something in the grass. Little turd snuck off and got all the way to the mailbox one night in the dark. Had me out there yelling for her with a flashlight. 
Anyways, she got into something made her itchy, of course, because that's what dachshunds do. They stick their little snoots in things and make themselves itch. But yeah, I got these cute little like trick-or-treat candies from Target and she has been loving them. That one's like a little like thing of Smarties, but it's called Dummies. <laughs> and she's got a little ball that looks like a, either a spider or a bat that had like fabric around it. She's already ripped the fabric off and is trying to get the ball out. Anyway, I need to get a move on today get ready because in-laws are heading up today because they needed to uh, my mother-in-law needs to go to urgent care and none of the urgent cares or anything are open where they live because they were basically uh in lake charles like you know everything's gone down there right now uh so they have to drive two hours up here well i think it's like an hour and a half drive just to so she can go to urgent care because they're still without power like fully a little house on the prairie down there. Ah, uh, ah, oh shit. I should have mentioned her to bring laundry up if she needed to wash some clothes. Cause I don't know how they're washing clothes. I guess they're doing it by hand in the bathtub, like old school. I wish we had a larger home so they could stay like an extended amount of time. But also I know they're anxious to be at home and kind of trying to get stuff back to normal, as normal as it can be right now. But I think we are what, two weeks out since the hurricane and Normalcy has kind of returned to my area. Like, I think 95% of everyone has power back. Let me go ahead and set the tripod up and I'll do some skincare, a little bit of makeup, and we'll talk. I love how red my face gets when I'm doing my skincare. I touch my face, it turns bright red, and yeah, it's just the way it is. Okay, I'm just using the uh, Nude Awakening palette from Wet n Wild today. I really like this palette, and I'm not really doing any real makeup. I just, just enough to go out the door kind of thing. Um, but yeah, it's also, I'm going to play for just a second because it's an excuse to talk to you guys. Uh, where was I? I forgot where I left off. But yeah, things been just a little weird since Hurricane. Like I'm still trying to like get back into just my groove of life. I don't know. Things just feel really weird. Uh, mentally I feel a little <laughs> like different, weird feeling. Oh yeah. Panic attacks. That's what's about. Jesus fucking Christ. The panic attacks. I have uh, a lot. <laughs> it was funny because it's like retroactive panic and I keep having nightmares about buildings falling down and it's just weird that it's like after the fact that I'm having all this stuff, these feelings because during and like the day of it was just more adrenaline I guess and all of that and then like the dust settled and reality of how bad things could have been, how lucky we got, that kind of thing set in. Then just worrying about pumpkin and I don't know, I haven't slept good <laughs> in two weeks. I don't, I feel like I just either haven't slept or it's just like naps. It's not like real sleep. And even when it is real sleep, I'm just still tired when I get up because in my sleep, I'm like panicking. I'm having nightmares and it'll go away. It's just one of those things. Wanted to really go anywhere or anything or vlog or really do anything. <laughs> Like, I've been cleaning and stuff and, like, organizing and that kind of thing. But now I'm wanting to film it. And that's, like, mm, something's up if I'm like that. Well, the bedroom kind of thing, that happened because somebody spurred it on. And I just started organizing and decluttering more stuff in there. And then, I don't know, but, like, Labor Day, you know, friends barbecued. I didn't go. So, the Sunday before that, friend wanted to come over and barbecue. So, you know, I just, I want to see people. I didn't want to really... Just want to be by myself, and that's not usually how I am. I'm pretty social, feeling better, and you know, making plans for the we're doing Mexican food night like we did the Italian night. I'm gonna do a taco bake for that. Something I'm looking forward to, some things, but it's not until like the 16th. I'm just being, I don't know, quiet lately, just kind of wanting to focus on at home. And I feel like I need to get home in order and me in order before I can do anything else and try to get back in the swing of just life. It just feels like everything has been so disrupted and upside down. And if I feel this way, I can't imagine how the people <laughs> further south feel or how like my, you know, my in-laws are feeling and my sister-in-law, you know, family down there, they've got to be just going through it. I have uh, been like the days that I have been able to work though, like and had free time. I've been very, very creatively driven. Like, um, my last vlog, there's some new editing styles in there and some new intros and stuff. And you'll see it in this one too. I'm really happy with that. And like, I'm having a lot of fun expressing my creativity right now. That's been a really, really good outlet for things and just be able to just sit and focus on that. And 
I can turn my brain off. And I've also really, really, really been enjoying listening to music lately. That started, I think, when during the hurricane, I got really into just um, listening to a band called Swallow the Sun. And I mean, I've listened to them before, but I've never really like gotten into, into them. And I just got this like weird wild hair. I'm like, I'm gonna listen to that album. Because I know I like a lot of the songs on it and I want to just really listen to it and focus on it. But I've been kind of avoiding that album because I know it's a sad album. But I went ahead and listened to it and now I can't stop listening to it. And it has definitely fueled the creativity a little bit. Music is kind of the most inspirational thing to me. Like music, I don't know how to even describe it, but I see. <laughs> music makes me see things. <laughs> that sounds crazy. Like as in like color and creativity and like a painting, for instance, or um, makeup look or just graphics I want to create, stuff like that. Like that all comes from what music I'm listening to. And right now I'm really, really into uh, death metal apparently. And doom, melodic doom metal, I believe it's called. So that's, uh, that's kind of where my head is at. <laughs> it's a little bit of a darker place, but not necessarily in a bad way. I don't know, I'm enjoying it. And then opposite of that I'm really enjoying the weekends music so I have some happy music and then I have some mellow music like I listen to a lot of Chelsea Wolf when I'm just usually working as well as to a lot or it's a lot of gunship which is more of a happier type of thing to me so it's nice though to uh have something new to listen to that I'm really enjoying I really like the weekends new stuff I think I'm gonna go back and listen to it, like his whole all his albums because I like songs that I've heard you know, I like really, really like them. Like I love uh, Starboy. Yeah, I really like the singles I've heard. The newest one, Blinding Lights, I really liked. I love the video, and it looks the whole album has like a concept to it. And I, I really like a good concept album. So I'm I'm pretty excited to uh, still listen to that, or maybe put that on while I'm cleaning or something, and just enjoy it. Uh, yeah, that's just a very contoured, neutral eye, huh? Just listening to Swallow the Sun though has been very nice. Just I don't know, it makes me feel good. Even though it's a pretty sad album, like it's, it's a really sad album. I have a very eclectic music taste. Basically anything but new country. I'm not a music snob. <laughs> like I'm not, well yeah, I, I'll make fun of music if I think it sucks, but I'm not mean. Like I don't only listen to one genre. I don't only just listen to classic goth music and no, I listen to a lot of stuff and I don't care. <laughs> Cause most artists, there's at least maybe one song in there that we're like, okay, that's catchy. Except for country music. I'm not gonna like any. This is a nice little palette, this uh, Nude Awakening from Wet n Wild. I quite like it. Oh, that looks frightening. I look frightening. The hell? Oh, another thing I really got into is watching uh, Picturesque, her YouTube channel. Her name's Regina. Her videos are so freaking beautiful. I wish I had her editing skills or whoever edits her videos. Their cinematography or photography skills, videography skills. Holy shit. Oh my god. And just the quality. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. And yeah, you know, she doesn't talk or anything in her videos. It's just her showing you how she does her makeup. And it's so relaxing. And she always has kind of nice music playing. I'll even just put them on mute when I'm going to bed or something. If I don't feel like reading, and I'll just sit there and watch that. Oh, speaking of reading, I read the cutest book. It's called Erotic Stories for Punjabi Women. And it was the freaking cutest story I've ever read. It was on um, Prime Reading. I just got Amazon Prime and have been having so much fun with that because they have books on there and I'm a very avid reader. I usually only read cyberpunk books, which I think I've spoke about before, my obsession with cyberpunk stuff. But uh, for some reason, this book came up like recommended and I don't know, I read the synopsis of it. I was like, this sounds really cute and I just want something happy and cute to read. And oh, I loved it so much. I didn't want the book to end. It was that good. It was so just like, I could just see it as a movie and it would have been so, it makes such a great movie, but I highly recommend it. If you just want a light, almost rom-com-esque type of read, like Nora Ephron-esque type of thing to read, that's definitely one to look into. And it is free on Prime to read right now. You can borrow it on there. I'm um, also just started watching The Marvelous Miss, Mrs. Maisel this morning while I was eating breakfast and love it already like so cute sometimes you just need that <laughs> you need something light especially right now <laughs> i feel like uh all of 2020 the bullshit this year has just suddenly caught up with me has decided to sink in <laughs> all the bad and all sit there i think about oh my god so much bad stuff's happened and i forget that 
so much good also has happened and I have to always remind myself that, that yeah a lot of horrible things were happening in the world a lot of awful awful things but at the same time it's more like count your blessings of what has gone good and what could possibly be terrible or worse but the mean this year has been a lot for me <laughs> aside from social issues pandemic uh, hurricanes and everything else there's just been loss of family and everything else going on there's still a lot to be thankful for at the end of the day i keep having to kind of remind myself that not let myself sit there and get caught up in just being sad and oh my god this happened this happened it's like this like it's really like a retroactive panic sets in about it why am i panicking now it's it's already over it's happened like the other day it just all snowballed and it all hit me just this overwhelming fear of stuff that has already occurred. It's like, girl, you've been through it. You're fine. You're fine. Just silly started panicking about the fact that I already had surgery this year. Of <laughs> that, yeah, you know, my dad has cancer and just everything all of a sudden just became real again, I guess. And maybe not dealt with stuff, I guess. And just been trucking on, distracting myself. And it just kind of, nope, here's reality again. Remember? Remember all this? Hey, remember this? <laughs> that sucked. You never really thought about that, did you? I like, or even just think about a friend that, pretty close friend that died back, you know, Memorial Day, crying all over again about that. And like, it's like, okay, brain, can we not right now? <laughs> but I think I've been telling my brain, can we not right now for eight months? And that's where I'm at. <laughs> it's kind of like, no, bitch. You, you've you've put me off enough. You need to feel these things. I think some of it is just kind of a mental exhaustion suddenly it set in. It being more about just other stuff. And, and usually I would think with being mentally exhausted, I wouldn't want to create or do anything. But I do. I want to like edit videos and that kind of stuff. I just have a hard time sitting down to film though and sit here and talk. But as soon as I turned the camera on today, I have felt about a thousand times better than I did this morning before sitting here and talking and you know showing you what I did in the bathroom like suddenly it just snaps and my mood immediately just lifts and it's such a good feeling and I think also today is the first day I've been up during the day on a day schedule in a while I was really not feeling good today mentally or physically which you know kind of goes hand in hand sometimes I wanted to Go back to bed. That's what I, I tried this morning. I just couldn't fall asleep. So I went ahead and just got up and took a shower, washed my hair, and decided to get ready, clean up the bathroom, all that. And here we are. And I feel so much better. <laughs> Sometimes I really just have to like snap out of feeling sorry for myself. That's what was happening this morning. It was a pity party. I was thinking, why do I feel this way? I'm like, you feel this way because you're letting it happen and you're just. You're wallowing. <laughs> and so now I try not to be harsh on myself about that. Like I allow myself to feel these things and have that time to wallow and be sad. And that's okay. If you just keep putting it off, you end up with it all just snowballing and hitting you at the worst possible times or inconvenient times. Like in the middle of a restaurant because the music's too loud. That also happened to me. What was it last? Week before last. We went to go get supplies. We went and we stopped and got lunch at a little restaurant. And it was just very loud in there. And I was just feeling very... These uh, noise bothers me. <laughs> I don't like noise. I don't like loud. It makes me very anxious and stressed feeling. And angry. Like irrationally angry sometimes. Like, well, like I told about the, the, the damn doorbell. How that makes me feel. I don't like noise. <laughs> Upsets me. Like I fully started crying the other day in the middle, middle of the restaurant. It wasn't just because the loud. It, I mean, that was just kind of the uh, straw that broke the camel's back type of thing. Was it just being very loud and feeling very stressed and the fact that we were just sitting there and I'm like, we need to go home. I was pink because we had left Pumpkin at home and I wanted to be with her and it was just it was a bad day. It was a really bad day. And I've just kind of had a series of days like that. Like I have enough intrusiveness in my brain for my own thoughts. I don't need it coming from an outside source too, I guess. Is even ever have that issue? Intrusive thoughts. That's how I would describe what goes on in my brain most of the time. It's a lot of stop it. Why are you, why? Get out of here. Thoughts. Like just worst case scenarios, that kind of thing. And it's not all the time, but if it's once it gets going, it takes a little while for me to get out of that cycle. You know, a week or two sometimes. 
this last one's been a little bit of a it's not been the worst i've ever had by any means but it's just i guess because it's been a, a long time since i've had any real problems with that it feels terrible now i was like remembering i was like no girl you've been way worse this is okay this is normal it is normal to be upset and it's normal to have anxiety and panic panicked feelings sometimes everyone feels this way what i do is i end up making myself feel like i'm i start panicking over having panic or panic over having anxiety and then that creates a whole nother vicious cycle and uh so i have to kind of remind myself no everybody feels anxiety to some extent it's okay to feel this a lot has happened <laughs> right now it's just okay you are justifying these feelings they are not coming from nowhere and they will go away. They will get better. You know, when things start getting back to normal. This is very a situational feeling or uh, anxiety. It's not unwarranted. But I start panicking over the panic. And it's just a horrible, horrible, horrible cycle. And I don't know why I do that, but I do. I think it's just the fear of, I have this fear of having to go back on medication to control it. And I don't want to be dependent on something. I hate that feeling. and. But I have definitely come to realize that if I am uh, cleaning the house and organizing, like extreme cleaning and organizing, I'm definitely not in a good headspace. <laughs> I've for sure found a connection there because it's a control thing. I think I talked about that like back at the beginning of my home series. When I started doing that, it was at the height of lockdown, like when they first did that. And my, my dad was just diagnosed with cancer and all that. And I was just... And that's what spurred that whole series on and it's ended up you know, being a really good thing that I've done it. Enjoying that series and enjoying cleaning now. But it definitely came from a place of mental distress. And so a lot of the nightmares I'm having are ones that center around not having control. Like disaster scenarios, which is, that's my biggest fear anyway, is a disaster scenario. Uh, I have nightmares about that regardless. I can't watch movies that are, you know, have a natural disaster or anything like that. I, I can't. I can't watch like volcano movies. I'll have nightmares about volcanoes. I've had nightmares about volcanoes since I was a kid because of the movie Volcano and Dante's Peak. Mostly Dante's Peak. Like, come on. I live nowhere near a volcano. That's the least thing that's going to happen here is a volcano. Yet I still have nightmares about it. And gosh, just seeing those pictures from Oregon and California right now, the fires and God, that, that is so terrifying. That is by far scarier than a hurricane or anything like that. Like, I've been through many a hurricane and tornadoes and, you know, but fire is another. <laughs> that is insane. Scary to me. Nightmares, though, it's dreams about stuff like that. Like, I dreamed about a, a building collapsing and having to dig through the rubble to, to find a thing. Yeah, I was looking for my dad, looking for a body. Why? Why would I dream something like that? when it comes to things like that like the gory situations and horror that this comes up with i don't need to watch horror movies that's why i don't watch them because i don't need any help my imagination doesn't need any help with that because i can dream some nightmarish dreams i have to be very careful about like a lot of the media i consume because of what it can do to my very delicate headspace sometimes it's not always delicate but uh, i don't like to rock the boat how many layers of mascara am I gonna put on? Okay, that's that's makeup done for today. I'm just gonna let my hair air dry and I'm probably gonna go sit down and do some work, uh, tidy up some stuff in the kitchen before everybody gets here, put some music on. I think I'm gonna listen to the Weekend's new album and tidy up the kitchen a little bit. Oh, my foot finally feels better, by the way. I'm gonna have me another cup of coffee while I'm at it. kitchen clean letting the hair is still kind of damp where air dry I'm obviously in front of the computer if you can tell by the very blue light <laughs> it's coming onto my face uh, I'm gonna sort some files try and get a little bit done here I'm not gonna be able to get a whole lot done but I'm gonna at least get some things organized and finished up so uh, yeah I'll check out 